You guys, today we're doing the Nordstrom's 2023 Anniversary Sale Picks. I am doing, yes, makeup. I'm going to be doing also clothes, which I will break down in category. And this time I'm going to do accessories as well. So timestamps for everything if you want to skip around. I'm not offended, don't worry about it, but I do love looking at the clothes because the makeup picks aren't that great. Well, I shouldn't say that. What I mean is there's not plentiful. There's not a ton to choose from. So what is the anniversary sale? I'm still confused about it. Let me tell you what the dates are. The dates are the 11th through the 16th is icon level. That is the first level to get in and shop these deals. July 12th through 16th is the ambassador level. So they start one day afterwards. And then the 13th to the 16th is influencer level. Now for me, they're telling me I can't actually get in until the 15th, which is weird, not the 13th. So I guess within each level, there are levels. <laughs> it's kind of mean, but basically 15th to the 16th. The 16th is the last day for the levels and the 17th through August 6th, it's open to the public. Here are the things I don't understand. When something sells out on the first level, are they going to ref you know, replenish it a little bit for everybody else? I don't know. I also am under the impression, because this is what I read, all the clothes that are on sale are not from last season, they're from the next coming season. And indeed, a lot of the things I look like had a fall vibe about them. But I was under the impression that they are debuting on sale. So they're on sale, and then after the sale, they will be this price. But as I was going over this over several days, this morning I did some pictures so I could use them for editing and look at them while I'm talking. I noticed that one of the things that I loved was sold out. So I feel that what's really happening is these are things that are available online at Nordstrom's right now. Then they will go on sale for the different levels. <laughs> and then after August 6th, they go back to the price. So they're opening at this price, then they go down to this price, and then they go back to this price again. That's what I think is happening, and I feel that that is confirmed by the fact I have seen Nordstrom sale videos as early as two weeks ago, and I thought, why are they doing it so early? And I think that makes sense. It's because all these products are available now at full price, at least in the clothing section. So, as always, I spent days and days looking over, culled my list, the whole bit, and I'm going to put on my glasses and scooch up my computer and we're going to go through it. Welcome to the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale 2023. All right, let's start with dresses, my favorite category. I mean, dresses are so easy, you know? Put it on, put on some accessories, the right shoes, you done, and you look really put together. This dress is from Lost and Wander and it looks like a lovely fall dress. It looks like they're shearing, which I happen to love, throughout the bodice. I, I don't know why. I love the shearing. I love a long sleeve. Very, very hard to find. And it's not too long, but it's not short either. I can imagine this with a pair of boots. I could also imagine this with a vest or a gilet, uh, layered with a couple of things, maybe a sweater tied across the body from here to here as opposed to over the shoulders, and the color story and the pattern. Scream fall. Goes really well with camel. Why not do something like that? Now this dress is a classic. It screams summer, but spring and fall probably as well with a jacket. This is 100% work appropriate as far as I'm concerned. If you are working in an office and need to put together a professional look for yourself, this is how you do it, and it's the kind of thing that would absolutely, if I was working in an office and I liked my arms, I'd be all over it. And it would be in my closet for years and years and years. It is classic, and it's a very solid price for a silhouette like that that's going to hit so many people so well. Now this is Farm Rio, and it's just similar to the first dress. In fact, I chose the first dress as an alternate 
over this one because I'm sure this is going to sell out before my level comes. This is something I really like. I like that the floral on this is a little bit bigger but not too big. It looks again ruching on the bodice but with this one the sleeves are full but they have the ruching right up through here styled with boots like I would do bunch of bracelets maybe. It does kind of have that 70s vibe that there was something going on in the 70s with Oscar de la Renta with big patterns and even with those lambs, I forget what it's called, um, shearling uh, vests. It, this fits kind of into that, the Fleetwood Mac, that whole thing, a period that I liked and luckily is still acceptable. If you can carry it off, I can. <laughs> All right, from Rails, this is called a garden party dress and that looks exactly like what it is. How lovely. And I actually have something like, it's not a slip, it's actually pantaloons from, I can't remember from who, that are linen that actually might look cute under this because they're a little bit high. It will look like a slip is under this so when you move there'll be a lot of movement going on with that um, frill at the bottom, the ruffle at the bottom, if you will. Lovely, easy, pretty, tea party for sure, wear with flip-flops, wear with whatever you want, not with boots. Actually, you know, you could, you could wear that with boots and sweater because it'll just look like a skirt by that time. So some versatility there. Then we have from Lafayette, 148 New York, a winter rose multi is what they're calling it. Everything will be linked below, of course, in category order. This is something that's a little bit looser around the waist. So if you feel self-conscious about your tummy area, I think that this one might make you happy. I, again, I love this. Chic and simple the way they style it here, but you can do whatever you want with it, including maybe wear a shirt under it if you want one of those layering tees under it, something kind of thin, or something like this blouse that I'm wearing right now that I'm, I just got and I love. That might be pretty under it, which whatever floats your boat, very, very pretty and very good price. Now this is another from Vince. There's a lot of Vince here and this comes in two colors and again this to me seems very work appropriate. I think it also comes in black and yet sleeveless so cooling. This is another Vince and this is in black but I have a feeling it might come in the same color as the dress I just showed you but this is more of a mock neck but sleeveless. So summer I imagine this with a fantastic maybe cropped jacket, super, super professional, or, you know, wearing with the shoes like these, um, Oxford kind of a shoe, it can be a very cool look as well. This is from Everyday Ritual, and at first I thought, I don't know, and I'm still telling you I don't know. It's $174 on sale, and it's just gauzy cotton fabric. That seems like a lot of money for something like that, but it comes in maybe five colors and the drape is lovely and it could be something you would wear like a, a hostess caftan if you were having people over inside outside, but also just walking around the house or a long beach cover up. And the final dress from Fauci, this again has the ruching, uh, we like the ruching, but there might be another word for it. Is it called ruching? You know what I mean. I love blue and white. I like that the border at the hem is um, tighter and has some interest to it. And with these kinds of smocking, that's what it's called, not ruching. With smocking, I feel like I don't have to wear a bra. It doesn't hold me up as well as a bra, but it holds me enough that I feel that I don't need to wear a strapless with something like this. And I think that is pretty darn cute. And again, I think everything I showed you here, I'd have to go over it again really quickly, but it falls under classic. Things that will stay in your closet for a long time. Not very trendy. Now let's go into accessories. The first time I've ever done accessories, well, it'll be interesting to see if you're interested in seeing them. So let's start with some necklaces. This is Monica Vinader. 
which I could be pronouncing wrong. And it is from $7.95, so $800 to $530. I, when you do the snapshots, for some reason they don't tell you what the item is. I think this might be the capture, which I believe each one of these links can open and you can put a charm on it. And they're saying it's yellow gold. I believe this is Vermeil. Another one from Monica Venander, and I could be saying this wrong, is I think the title is wrong for this because they're saying gold Vermeil and something I can't pronounce, but it's green beads. I'm really kind of into this surfer bead kind of moment, and I have a couple of things actually on the way from Bobble Bar. I put it in my community page how cute they are, they were only 20 bucks. But I'm kind of into this and I'm going to build a teeny capsule wardrobe with a couple of different options, a couple of different colorways. Here is a charm very similar to a necklace that I've been wearing recently, but I went back to my two blue um, sapphire and lapis. But I was wearing this uh, rose quartz with a crystal. This is not what that was or is, this is something different, but it's the same kind of feeling, and it's a lot less money, because mine was real gold. This is just Nordstrom Rose Quartz Gold. Sweet. Bunny Levy, so here's something a little bit more expensive, and who knows if it will be available when we're there, but this is a gemstone. Again, it doesn't say on the snapshot that I took what that gemstone is. From $1,200 to $800, and again, this, because it's um, semi-precious perhaps, it is something you'll keep in your wardrobe for a long time, and a color like that, if that really floats your goat, boat, I think worth an investment. Now they also have it in a couple of different colors, which are less expensive. So the blue one is something a little bit more precious, but aren't they pretty just layered together? I think, I think they're just lovely. This Kate Spade wallet, how fun. I want to share with you a little tip that I started doing in my 30s. I've always loved a big bag, although sometimes I carry smaller bags. I, I like that look. But when I open a bag, all I see are black things in there. So usually lining is kind of dark, and then your wallet is dark, and back in the day the file fax, which I still love my file fax, although I don't use it, but the things that are in there are black, and you can't tell which is which. So I tend to have wallets that are a color aside from black, and I like the idea of this one because it's super colorful. You just open your bag, oh, there it is, and it's fun and it's playful. They have it in a purse as well, but if a purse like that is just a little too strong for you, why not do a wallet so you don't see it all the time, but it might make you a little happy every time you pull it out. I think it is adorable. Okay, I just did this one sneaker because I think sneakers are very, very personal, and I wanted to be reminded to tell you tons of sneakers, tons, tons of sneakers take a look. I have a white foot. I have a whole bunch of issues. I'm really, I got measured a couple of years ago. I found this wide shoe store in Vancouver and I'm actually a seven and a half wide, but I wear eight, eight and a half in American. And because your EUs generally run really narrow, I go to 39 to 39 and a half. With sneakers, it's a quest. I go to a place called Roadrunner where they measure your foot, they put you on a treadmill and they shoot it so they can see if you pronate or whatever the opposite word is and they know what shoe will work for your issue. So my shoe situation, very, very special. But if you are not as, you know, very, very special as me, tons of sneakers. I just have one hat to show you. This is adorable by Helen Kaminsky. I have one of her hats The kind of, you can wear it flat out or roll it up a little bit. Not really for sun protection. I'm wearing sunscreen, so I'm okay. But look how adorable this is on the model. So, so cute. I can see farmer's markets on the weekends, you know, wearing it with a sundress. I think it's adorable, and I know for sure that that price is fabulous. And for the final accessory, 
there are many iterations of this, maybe five, six, seven. Some of them are very cutesy, like strawberries. And some of them are a little bit more subtle. There's a couple that are more neutral and almost look a little deco. I like this one. These kinds of trays add so much interest to your home. And they're super, super helpful. I've seen videos, I'm sure you have too, when people are in their bathrooms and all their stuff is just laid out. But it looks so much better when they have some kind of a tray. And of course, it would be a bigger tray than this. It just looks more put together and more elegant that way. Trays like this are also super handy for dropping your jewelry in so you don't walk around going, where did I put that? I took off my earrings before I washed my hair and now I don't. That's what these kind of trays are great for. And they're only 12 bucks. They're adorable. Adorable. Stock up. Okay, this isn't an accessory, but I do want to talk a little bit about bras. Again, they're very personal. It wasn't until I was professionally fitted that everything kind of came together and I started to understand bras and bra construction. And I did actually a lot of research on my own looking up the different pieces of the bra, the different zones of the bra, and why you might want one over another words. Chantal is a bra that works for me. So much like pants, for instance, designer brands have something called fit models. And when I say designer, I don't just mean high-end designer. When I was working, I used to wear suits from Jones, New York, and they used to have the most beautiful suits. And they also had a fit model who was like me. I have a waist and I had junk in the trunk, so I didn't have any gaping. Well, bras are kind of the same way. They have a fit model. And you will find once you're fitted, if you've already been fitted, you'll find that there are certain bra brands that just work for you. And it's because of their fit model. For me, Chantal is a bra brand that works for me. Maybe not everything, but a lot. Walcall is also on sale. I saw a lot of those and a lot of Notori. Bras are so expensive, you guys, from $70 to $45. It's the time to stock up on your nice bras. And if you don't wear nice bras, I can't tell you how important it is to wear a well-structured bra. It makes such a difference in how you present yourself in your clothes. I can buy online now because I know, I know what I know. I know a lot. But I used to go to a department store, go to Nordstrom's, and I bring a t-shirt with me, or I wear a t-shirt, and put on the bra, and then put on the shirt, and take a profile, and see what it was doing to me. If you're more than a C cup, a three-part bra, really, really important to give you a beautiful shape. I'm not gonna go into it too much, because I'm sure some of you are ready to roll your eyes. Pajamas, these are adorable. Jersey knit short pajamas, it's summer, it's hot, jersey knit is so, so comfortable. I actually have jersey pillowcases, I love them. They're not as fussy as silk, but they're kind of as soft as silk and not as rough as cotton and not as hot as cotton. This one, short sleeves, long pants. I usually take off my pants when I go to sleep because I don't like to get things twisted around me. I don't just lay in bed and fall asleep and wake up in the same position. I turn around and so yeah, pants come off and this would be kind of ideal for me. And I really love this floral pattern. It's blue so it makes me feel cool, which ugh, I need that in the summertime. And look at this barefoot dreams rope. Hi. I love this. This is one of their light versions, and I've, I've never tried anything from Barefoot Dreams, but I know they're very popular. And it's a good price. It looks like it's a third off. And it's just kind of classic, classic color. It's a shorty, which is great. I have a lot of Terry Cloth's robes, but I'm telling you, when I put them on, I feel like they weigh 15 pounds, and I might want to do it in the winter once in a while, but I like the idea of something lightweight and yet cozy at the same time. For me, in California, that's something that I can wear year round. Now that concludes intimates. We're going to go into makeup and we are going to go back into clothes. So, a lot of mascaras, you guys. I'm just gonna name them off and you do you. They appear to be two for the price of one and mascara will last if you don't open it. So it's a good time to stock up if 
one of your favorite mascaras is on sale. The YSL, this one, I can't remember what it's called, Lash Crash? Because again, they don't put the title in here. But Andre Ali talks about it all the time. Now, I've never liked a mascara that she does, but if you do, that might be one to get. There are several from Lancome. So again, they don't put the names here and I can't read them. They're too small, but I'm just going to swing them by. I think Definicils is one of them. And the Charlotte Tilbury Push-Up Lashes, which I love. It leaves a fluttery kind of lash, but there's a few ways to apply it because it's flat. So you can just go in straight with the comb or do the flat and get that mascara on and then comb it through. Two for $40 is a very good deal. I don't think it's quite two for one. This is in the color black, which I've never tried. I like the color, I think it's called Dream Pop. Love that. And Chantecaille. So this is very expensive. I can't remember what it is, and I don't know if they have more than one mascara, but Chantecaille is kind of stupid expensive anyway. If you happen to just love love their mascara, this is the time to save a little money. I don't believe that that's a two for one price at all. All right, out of the mascara zone and into the crayon zone or the eyeshadow stick. So sticks are interesting. Some I feel never dry down and if you're hooded, you know that dreaded feeling of blinking and your skin's kind of pulling because it's a little sticky. I find that Bobbi Browns don't do that too often, but I do find it's formula driven. Some colors or formulas will never kind of dry down. Mattes generally will. What I like about this, it's two different du duo side. Is that how you say it? Two different duos. It's two duos. So there's four colors all together and it's a very good price for four colors. If you like crayons, I might even get this because I like these colors. I think they're very wearable on a daily basis. Also from Bobbi Brown is her very iconic, you either love it or you've never tried it, uh, primer. When I first started using this, I thought it was a moisturizer, and I'm talking 20, 25 years ago. And then I remember I read somewhere that it's not a moisturizer, it's a primer. Well, what's a primer? Uh, it's great for dry skin, beautiful primer. Let's talk about Westman Atelier or Atelier. There's a couple of things. So these, again, it kills me. I think these are minis. I don't think these are full size because they're $40. But these are my two favorite colors in the lit up sticks. The Nectar and the Brulee, which I use kind of as a bronzer. This is such a great, great deal. And if you're like my mom was, you might start shopping for Christmas really early and just a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. What a delightful Christmas present for somebody. Maybe a stocking stuffer or maybe a gift unto itself. I think that is a fabulous deal. And I think you need to jump on that even if you don't know if you want it for yourself. I'm not kidding. Okay, again, don't know what this set is called, but it's a set of three. And I believe that this blush is Peau de Sante, which is very hard to get. They don't have it at any department stores. It's only available at Gucci's site or at Goop's site because it's the color that she created for Gwyneth Paltrow. And then the blush is in Petal, which was one of her original colors. It is just such a good, beautiful color. And the lip is in the Nudes, which came out a couple of years ago as a limited edition. It was so popular she brought it back. I knew she would because it's fabulous. This again, a beautiful gift, whether to yourself or someone else, but break into it because these colors are all fantastic. All you need actually is a little bit of foundation and you're kind of good. Maybe an eyebrow pencil and mascara and you can go on a trip on these. The packaging, if you've never tried, so, so elegant, substantial, beautiful job. At this price, you cannot not do that. Mason Francis Kirk de Jean, de Jean. I call MFK. I think a lot of other people do as well. This 
is a discovery set that are 10 mil each, which is very, very generous. If you want to get into perfume or if you want to understand more about this line, or if you like several things from this line but you don't want to commit to $300 a bottle, this is <clears throat> a great way to go. I'll say it again, what a fabulous gift that would be to somebody, especially someone who's into perfume. Okay, so we have lash and brows, and uh, Revital Lash, I think I tried um, for my lashes for a little while, and it, and it was fine. I'm using something else now. I feel that some of these work for some people, and some of them don't work for other people, but a different brand will work. So Revital Lash is your brand. This is for the brows, and it's two for $111. This is the one that I use and I absolutely see a difference. I've been a little bit lax, but I showed in a video in the last six months or so, a before and after of another picture of myself and a current picture of myself. What a big difference. Now it's not giving me a big, full, bushy, bushy, bushy look, but I'm 60 years old, so I may not get there. But when I look, on this mirror, this magnification is huge. I see so many little fine hairs growing in. And what I do is, you know, it takes a little effort for me. I take this from Charlotte Tilbury because it's such a thin, thin, thin wand. And this mirror, and I just spend some time darkening those up so you can see them. It makes me super, super happy, you guys, to see some brows. This works for me, and I can't recommend it enough, and I am for sure getting it and I've got to get back to using it every night. In the bath, the Lacatan Almond, oh, I love this smell, and it leaves your skin so, so soft. It just, I love it. I love the texture. I love the way it feels on the skin. I love the way it smells. It smells up the whole bedroom because, you know, the bedroom, bathroom adjoined. And that's a very nice little deal for that. There are a couple of sets from Augustina's Bladder. One, and I'm not sure which one this is, because, again, in the photos that I took, because I wanted to include the price, the name, and everything in one column, as opposed to wide form, I'm not sure which one this is, but I'll just show you pictures of both. One of them is the rich cream and the cream, and the other one is... I think three items, like a variety of items, and again, uh -huh, yeah, three items, and it's three different things. So it's the introductory level. You can buy several of his things in travel size, so you can kind of try them, but there they are all together, and I do like this line a good deal. Also, here's something I have never tried, necessary. I've heard people talk about it. It's, I think it's kind of a cult favorite. And this is the Body Wash Duo, which is a $50 value for $35. I might, um, I might go for that. I've never tried it. I should probably smell it first. And that concludes the beauty section. And now we're going back to clothes and we're going to start with pants. Pants from Frame. This is a washed navy and it's simple, it's easy, it's classic. Those are words that I like a lot. I um, wanted to mention those to you. This is so different than doing it for Saks, but Saks, they give you a little bit more information in your screenshots. All Saints, this is a Jersey crop trouser. Now, that sounds to me like it's super, super comfortable and easy and chic. I wouldn't wear it with those shoes, but it comes in two colors. Get your pants that you're going to wear. If you're in California, probably you're around. And if you're in an area that actually has seasons, I would say probably two seasons out of the year. I did find a couple of jeans that I, I really like. These wider jeans at the bottom are a thing right now. I think there's a lot of different styles going on right now. So you can really pick and choose what suits your aesthetic and what suits your body type. But I kind of like these. They do remind me of my high school years. I swear I saw Stevie Nicks wearing a pant like this, and I'm glad they're back in style. And I think this is a very nice price from $268 to $179, and that is from Frame. 
Now these pants from Boss, look at what's going on on the side here. I just happen to like that a lot. There's something very, very classic about that. I like the way the pocket lies on this. I like the little buttons at the bottom. It has a little bit of a nautical feel to it. And it just adds a little interest when you're doing such a simple cut and classic colors have a little bit of fun without being gaudy. Another pair of jeans I'm liking are these Veronica Beards. And again, very nice mark down here. It looks like about 30%, not quite as wide, but I would be all over this if I was, you know, 40 pounds less. Love. Let's get into jackets, as in jackets and blazers, maybe work attire. Now, in my closet, you guys, I have a full rail of shirts, and above it is a full rail of jackets. I love, love, love jackets. I think that you could put together a pair of jeans, a pair of very cool shoes, or, or sneakers, a pair of Adidas, and a t-shirt. You put a nice jacket on, an interesting jacket on, and you are done, and you look so, so put together. That's an aesthetic that I really appreciate. So we're looking at jackets, kind of thinking that, but certainly for work as well. So this one from All Saints is an oversized herringbone double-breasted blazer, and I like the price. I like the shape. This kind of shape doesn't work on everybody. You know you. You know if this kind of shape doesn't work for you, but if it does work for you, maybe it's something you want to get now. Now this, again, different shape, different body types. I happen to like a shorter cropped jacket, but maybe not this short, but some people do from Lafayette, New York. Again, it's from $1,200, $958. Not a huge discount, but a nice discount, and it's a brand that can be hard to find on discount. They do this every year. They put Smythe jackets on sale just to torture me, because by the time it's open to my level, they are gone. Here's another one, this time only one, and it does look like a good discount. I just love the cut. It has an equestrian feel to it. On my figure, that's a very, very flattering cut. Avec la fille, a large black navy plaid. So again, a little oversized, a little more casual, I believe, as opposed to the All Saints, the first one. But again, big oversized jacket. You need to be careful with them. You need to understand, is that a silhouette that works for you or not? I'm going to pause and put on the fan and we'll be right back. I turned on the fan. I turned it on really, really low. So I'm getting a little bit of something, but <laughs> it's that time of year. So let's do a couple of shirts now. This is from Caslon. And I believe that this is a Nordstrom brand. It's usually $59 and the discount is $39. I honestly believe the whole point of the anniversary sale is to sell the Nordstrom brand products. First of all, FYI, the commission is higher on those. I think that's why you see so many channels doing a lot of the Nordstrom brands because they make more money. But I don't happen to really think they're very stylish. <laughs> I mean, God, I hate being that person who says, you know, gives away the secrets and says, you yeah, know, I think you can kind of get the same thing on Amazon for even better, but I guess I'm going to be that person. I don't want to be that person, but I just, I guess I'm not engaging my filter right now. But I do happen to really like that blouse. I think it's simple, soft, and pretty and a good price. Now, here's something, a Nordstrom brand that I do like. I feel like the brands, the Nordstrom brand that is just Nordstrom is better, more stylish, and probably better quality, I don't know, than the named brands like Caslon, I think. I think Treasure and Bond might be. My understanding is they have maybe seven female, and maybe they have just as many for male. Uh, brands that have different names, but if it's a Nordstrom brand, I feel a little more confident in pulling the trigger. This is just a button-down striped shirt, classic. It's purple and white, which I also really like. I'm kind of on the hunt for a shirt similar to this in red and white. I don't know why, but I want to get one in red and white, and I want to get like a 
a tangerine kind of orange and white too. Those are the things that I'm thinking in my head, but this is just classic. It's a great staple. And this is sold out. I'm going to keep it in the video because it might come back, but I love this Veronica Beard shirt that looks like it has a corset already in it. I just like that kind of style when clothes look like they're two things in one, but they're just one thing. And I think it's cute as can be. Now we're going to go into jackets for outerwear. This Lafayette Semolina, which is, I'm sure, the color that they're referring to, it's a decent discount. It's not huge, but I love this. I love the trim. I could wear this with dresses. I mean, kind of a funky look, right? I could wear it with jeans. I could wear it with slacks. I love the color. This, for me, is the kind of jacket I would have for 50 years. And I'm not kidding. I have a suede jacket that is falling apart, which I kind of like that look, you know, it, it, when something looks like it's really been lived in. And I have had it since I was probably 32, almost 30 years. I've had it. I will keep something that's classic for a really, really long time, and they just look better and better to me as they get older, and that kind of fits that bill. So yes, outerwear, but maybe not 100% outerwear. Now this, I would call this an anorak, but I think, who knows? I like that it's two layers. Again, I, I dig that layering thing, so it kind of has this dicky zip-up vest inside and a drawstring west, a waist from Sam Edelman. Very, very good price. Uh, light weather, do you know, if you're living in Minnesota, probably not. But if you're living someplace like Los Angeles, Portland, uh, on the west coast, Washington, San Diego, maybe Arizona on a cold night, but not in the areas of Arizona where it snows. Max Mara makes beautiful, 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 beautiful coats. And this one is a very nice discount. It is navy, it is wrapped, it is not buttoned up, and I love the length. I have a, sh I, think I, I think the mauves got to my shorter coat, but a shorter coat is really kind of chic. And we can totally do it here in California, but on the East Coast, absolutely in the fall. Now this one is a little bit more outer wear, I guess I mean cold weather wear, but I really like this Bernardo. It's kind of a, it's a vest or a gilet with a quilted bit to it and I, I just like that idea. It gives you a lot of versatility when you're dealing with weather. So if you don't want to wear a big ass puffer that knocks people down when you're walking down the street, you can do kind of, you know, layers of things and have a very similar effect. And this, to me, you know, if you live in cold weather, you probably also have a bit thicker blood. I think this is really kind of chic. I would wear it without anything else because I don't need to layer it. But if I was going on a ski trip, for instance, I like that a lot. Another one from Lafayette, again, the other jacket has a bit of a menswear look to it. The first one that was that wheat color. It reminds me a little bit of my grandpa. This one is a bit shorter, and I just cannot with this color. I, uh, making me angry. <laughs> it's, it's not making me angry, it's just, I want it. I love, love, love this color. Are you kidding me? I don't know what to call it. An earthy orange, but then the collar has a, a bright orange on it. Not a huge discount, but it's something. Just love this classic lines again the kind of thing i would keep in my closet forever i was about to say my bag let's talk a little bit about color before we move on here some people would think well it's not a classic color i find actually that with bags and jackets you can have more fun with color so you could be wearing navy top and bottom black tan, camel, the whole thing, and then you put a color on top of it. A pair of shoes that are a bright pop. One of my most used shoes are a pair of Levant flats in like a stop sign yellow. Because yellow and blue go so great together. I was shocked how much I wore those shoes. This is the same kind of thing. And I remember I convinced a friend of mine once, we went 
to uh, a place in Santa Monica, the Santa Monica Mall, a used clothing store, and she was, you know, trying to understand fashion and style, and she saw this leather jacket in an orange, and she's like, I don't know about this color. I said, get it. It's the kind of piece when you walk into a room, someone will walk up to you and say, I love it. And since she was new to LA, that's exactly what it did for her. She got friends because people say, God, I love your jacket. It was like 15 bucks. Of course, this isn't 15 bucks, but I'm just talking about color. Don't be afraid of it when it's shoes, a bag, or a jacket. It can just elevate your outfit. Okay, done with my lecturing. Oh, I guess I'm not, more color. I love this. Again, I have a puffer, but this puffer, first of all, what a great price. I have no idea the quality of FP movement, never heard of them, but the color is making me crazy. And these sleeves, the armholes, have some interest going on. It looks like, although I'm sure it's not padded, you know, who's gonna put a padded shoulder on something like that? But it gives you a bit of a squared off shoulder so that yes, you could wear this when you're out walking the dog, you're skiing, you're doing whatever cold weather thing you're doing. But honestly, I would have to see it in real life to see how puffy it is. I would put this over a long knit skirt, a pair of suede boots, and then I would belt it. Yes, I would. <laughs> yes, I would. And just two more coats, similar to the Max Marm. The working in the city, I don't want to do a puffer, it's just coat. This one from Sam Edelman, this grass green color, again. Color, I just love color. I just love it. Simple, tie waist wrap, just lovely. If you're not afraid of color, the coat is a way to do it. If you ever saw Baby Boom, remember that movie? I just love that movie. But I loved her wardrobe before she went off to the country. And she had the most beautiful coats. Every time there was a scene where she was wearing a coat, it was a different coat. That could be one of them. For her, maybe in the spring. Maybe not because of what she did for a living, but you know what I mean, coats, love. This one from Reese is uh, probably 30% off doing the math. There's no tie belt. Again, I have coats like this, and in warmer weather, you, you don't have to tie your coat. In fact, I have many coats over the years that, that don't tie. Classic camel, this would be the one that she would wear in baby boot because it's classic. All right, and now we're going to get into a couple of sweaters, and then we will be done. Uh, this is a Nordstrom brand cashmere crew neck. I love a crew neck sweater. I think they're so versatile. You can wear a shirt with a collar under or, you know, flip the collar over or just leave a hint of the collar. They go really well with a lot of shorter necklaces because they light right on that. It looks like it's pretty thin, which means you can layer this in the fall winter, but you could absolutely wear this particular color in the spring as well. This one from Rag and Bone, again, I just, I just love that trim. Uh, I love the camel. They're calling it khaki here, but it looks like camel to me. And that's a pretty decent price. Brown slacks, or I see it maybe with a brown gabardine short skirt with a pair of tights and maybe a pair of loafers. Barefoot Dreams, this is one of the sweaters that people love so, so much, and I'm just pointing out the color pearl because I think that is so pretty. The Barefoot Dreams apparently are on sale, uh, every sale, and that's when people get them. And here we have another Nordstrom brand. Again, if it's Nordstrom brand, I feel a little bit more confident than the off brands, the named brands. This is a hoodie in cashmere. Yes, please, in oatmeal, double yes. Really good price. I bought something Angie had posted, same thing, but not cashmere on Amazon. And she loved it and raved and raved. And I thought, I finally gave it and said, okay, I'll give it a try. And I like the idea of it very, very much. I find that I have a barn jacket vest. In the winter months, I'll wear a pair of leggings and I'll wear that under the barn 
jacket vest in three different colors. So the pants, the leggings are black. I got the dark olive of the sweater and then my barn is dark brown and it's easy go-to for running errands. But it started peeling immediately, immediately. And it's a little bit itchy. The cashmere is soft and lovely. I used to have a cashmere hoodie in orange. Of course I did, that the moms decided was a tasty treat. And another from Vince. This is just a nice little collar, a button-up sweater. Again, if it's your thing, it's something that you'll have in your wardrobe forever if you fight those moths. And I like that. And then I have another option that I, I think I like personally better for my uh, body type because it's a little bit higher and ends at the waist and has buttons in those cute pockets right down there. It's still crew. It's still classic. Again, if you don't like the buttons, you can take them off. And, you know, I, I had a friend who used to go to a dry cleaner, a French dry cleaner. Every time they washed anything of hers that had buttons, they took the buttons off before they cleaned and sewed them back on. You could do that with buttons yourself. Take off the brass buttons if it doesn't work for you, put on another button, and then save the brass buttons and kind of, you know, change your wardrobe just by changing your buttons. I really, really like this theory. And there's one other thing that I put in the wrong area, and that's going to wrap it up after I find it. And that is a gilet. It is a gilet, I'm sure I get some nose rub off here, that is a plaid. It is double-breasted, and there's a million ways you can wear something like this. First of all, layer this under a coat. So you take that camel coat that doesn't close, and you put this under it. I actually have something like this, but it's not a plaid. But um, it's a solid, and I wear it under one of my open coats. I also wear it by itself over a pair of jeans. You can also wear it over a skirt, like a very schoolgirl kind of plaid skirt would work. Again, probably short because this is a long line. It would be unusual to have a long skirt with it. I think you'd have to fuss around with your with your proportions that way. I also like the idea that you can, of course, wear sweaters under it. You can wear blouses under it. You can use it as just something to wear as a layering for warmth. Or you can just wear this without anything under it. And it's a dress. And as a dress, I would wear this with a pair of tights, again, dark tights, a pair of heeled loafers or flat loafers, or a pair of over-the-knee boots with a pair of tights. Over-the-knee boots I love when they are flat. When they are heels, you look like a cartoon character to me. It's just not a place I want to go, but a flat over-the-knee boot can be incredibly chic. And when your tights are poking through as you're walking, I just think this kind of piece, there's a lot of different things you can do with it if you like to play when you're putting on your clothes and investigate a little bit. And let me try this and let me try that, as opposed to, I have to leave right now, I need to know what I'm wearing. And you guys, that's going to wrap up with this one. I really hope it's not going to be too long. I hope it was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Please check my community page on a semi-regular basis because I don't think I'm going to be doing any more sale videos right soon. But when I do find out about sales, I post them in my community page as soon as I learn about them. Or sometimes I learn about them early, but they're embargoed. So as soon as the embargo is done, those go up because, you know, I'm seeing a lot, a lot of sales right now. And that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Just say hi. You don't have to say anything else if you don't want to, but it helps the algorithm so my video will be pushed out to more people and more people can decide, eh, you know, am I your thing or not? And, you know, grow my channel. That's how you can help me. And that's going to wrap it up. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next one.